I'm Marie, and I'd like to show you some cartoons that I made during the pandemic. So I live in New York City, and I started cartooning in March to help me make sense of the quarantine and answer some eternal questions like, who are we when we are separated from each other? And what day is this? At the beginning, all I thought about was escaping. In this cartoon, I tried to escape with the rats under my sink. I envied their freedom, but they wouldn't take me with them. There was no escaping it. We were in this for the long run. Nobody was going to come and rescue us from lockdown. Even the murder hornets that the news said were coming to take us out of our misery let us down. I think the vivid dreams started in April. I dreamed that I was on a Zoom call with multiple versions of myself. Also, I'm so sick of my face. When you, when you cut off outside stimulation, your brain goes wild. I became obsessed with the empty Macy's store on 34th Street, and I dreamed that we were having our morning meetings inside it. I dreamed that we had an intervention for Corey Feldman because he wasn't wearing his mask properly. He said, but I fog it fogs up my glasses. And we said, grow up, Corey. Around this time, we became scared that we would lose our jobs. There were essential workers and non-essential workers. We had to face the reality that most of us are non-essential. Then we did away with non-essential relationships, no more acquaintances with whom to talk about the weather, just appliances to keep us company, like Wilson in Castaway. At the end of the day, we were alone in our houses, which we came to know inside out, every nook and cranny. We became our houses and every day became the same. We experienced all the stages of grief at once. If you asked me how it felt on the pain scale, I would have to say outside, detached, unmoored, like there was nothing to latch onto. We were on our own, having to make life and death decisions, weighing health against financial ruin. The barbers in my neighborhood had to close shop, but they chose to reopen on the sidewalks. Some people did not reopen. The Tamalera on 145th Street and Broadway disappeared. Nobody is buying tamales in a pandemic. July 1st marked half the year. What if it was the good half, Dan Sinker wrote on Twitter. This was my most popular cartoon. And I realized that the secret to virality is to quote Dan Sinker. We had been in quarantine for about a hundred days and it was summer. We had some hopes for the summer, but mostly we watched it pass us by on TV. Along with police brutality, Black Lives Matter, marches for justice, and in New York, illegal fireworks. Because we were not only living in a pandemic, we were living in a racist pandemic. Every day is small, every day is the same. Wait until dark and thread it with the others on your terrible, terrible quarantine necklace. We got used to the new normal though, sweatpants and slippers. We looked at artifacts from the before times and wondered, will we ever be cute again? It felt like we had changed forever. We started to talk about reopening with equal parts dread and excitement. What would we even do outside? Wouldn't it be better to stay in and watch uh, talented dogs on TikTok? But eventually we did go out again and something wonderful happened. I walked to 145th Street and saw the Tamalera. She came back and so will we. Thank you. <laughs>